want to study in Holland? Of course you want to study in Holland. The next hundred seconds will definitely convince you. All right. Let's go. Study in Holland. Every year, many international students undergo the Dutch experience. But what does this mean? What makes studying in Holland so great? Holland is really internationally oriented. I mean, where else would you find students from over 160 different countries? One out of 10 students is an international student. Did you know that we have more than 2100 English talk programs? Pretty good, right? You know what's even better? The quality of our education. You won't find this quality of education at such an affordable rate anywhere else. The open-mindedness of the Dutch people is reflected in the way we educate. It's in the way we teach, the way we interact, in the way we work together. Once you're done studying here, Holland offers a ton of opportunities for entrepreneurs and job seekers. Holland is the home of some of the world's biggest multinationals such as Philips, Shell and many more. We even have a special one-year program for you to get employed called Orientation Year. You can be part of the Holland Alumni Network for everyone who had the Dutch experience. How much time do I have left? What? 30 seconds? Well, that's enough time for some facts. Dutch people are the best non-native English speakers in the world. Holland is also one of the happiest and safest countries and our educational institutions rank among the world's top 2%. But there's more to Holland. Holland is creative, high-tech, diverse, innovative, nicely located, exciting, has a unique cuisine and a rich history. We've got a unique culture and very welcoming people. Just barely made it. So now you know why you should study in Holland. Or good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's study in the Netherlands presentation. My name is Tvetelina from SRT Fairs, and together with Marina from Novik Nezu, Russia, and our three presenters, Shen from Avans, Erna from Windesheim, and Sam from Hotel School of Hague, we will introduce you today to why we would like to study in the Netherlands. Why would that be a country that is worth considering for our further education? The session today will be approximately one hour. We will start with, introdu with a short introduction of the Netherlands' study destination and then the three universities will talk about their specific programs. During the entire webinar, you can ask us questions in the right-hand side of your screen and we will get back to you at the end. We'll try to answer everyone, so feel free to ask us your questions. So we will now start with the general introduction and I'm happy to invite Marina. Thank you so much for joining and enjoy. Yes, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Marina. I'm a student counselor at Nufik Nassau, Russia. Uh, first of all, I would like to say what is Nufik and uh, what we are doing. So Nufik is um, the representative of uh, the Netherlands Expertise and Service Center for Internationalization of Education. And uh, NEZO in Russia is one of 11 offices that are located in different countries, such as in China, in Indonesia, in Mexico, and so on and so on. Our office is located in Moscow, and it focuses on bringing together um, the Dutch universities and the Russian universities. And we are also providing information for the Russian students who would like to study in the Netherlands, but also for the Dutch students who are actually coming to study for different types of courses in Russia. And uh, together with the Netherlands Embassy in Moscow, we successfully run the Dutch Science Talks, which are the series of guest lectures run by Dutch researchers. And uh, Neso Russia is also offering the Dutch language courses, which you're welcome for sure to join. Uh, they are on online and offline right now. Uh, so basically what we are doing, you can see on the general slides and you will also have this presentation later on and uh, all these links are clickable so you can actually check what is happening and what we are doing. Uh, first of all, I would like to share with you some 
major reasons about why to study in the Netherlands. You definitely saw the main ones there in the video. But once again, uh, in the Netherlands, we do have more than 2,000 English taught programs, which you are able to choose from. Uh, there are different types of scholarships available for students. Uh, also for um, the students from non-EU countries, which is valuable for a lot of people, actually. And uh, the quality of education there is amazingly, if to compare, especially with the cost of this education. Um, Netherlands provide amazing career opportunities and uh, the opportunity also to stay for one year after you finish your studies in the Netherlands to search for a job. So, which is amazing, right? Um, and you are also free to choose all the benefits of Holland Alumni Network that is actively working there and for sure tra travel all over Europe and not only there. So basically if you have any questions uh, you may reply these questions, we will reply your question there and here are the contacts and um, please feel free to ask and uh, we are here to actually continue with the questions and uh, Please go for it. Hello everyone. I will continue with a general presentation, also uh, some additional information about studying in the Netherlands. I'm from Erna from Wimmelheim and also on behalf of Shen and Samuel from Hotel School The Hague and Avans, I will tell you a little bit more details. Uh, the Netherlands is a small country in Western Europe, a small country but famous for its tulips and windmills, but also famous for its very uh, ambitious study climate. Uh, what we hear from people from abroad that our country is also very well organized, and that's also nice for you as an international student. Uh, we already heard some reasons why you should study in the Netherlands, and some of you have already seen the introduction video it's 100 seconds about uh, information why you should study in the netherlands if you have already seen it don't worry it's only 100 seconds here it is again do you want to study in holland of course you want to study in holland the next hundred seconds will definitely convince you. All right, let's go. Study in Holland. Every year, many international students undergo the Dutch experience. But what does this mean? What makes studying in Holland so great? Holland is really internationally oriented. I mean, where else would you find students from over 160 different countries? One out of 10 students is an international student. Did you know that we have more than 2100 English top programs? Pretty good, right? You know what's even better? The quality of our education. You won't find this quality of education at such an affordable rate anywhere else. The open-mindedness of the Dutch people is reflected in the way we educate. It's in the way we teach, the way we interact, in the way we work together. Once you're done studying here, Holland offers a ton of opportunities for entrepreneurs and job seekers. Holland is the home of some of the world's biggest multinationals such as Philips, Shell and many more. We even have a special one-year program for you to get employed called Orientation Year. You can be part of the Holland Alumni Network for everyone who had the Dutch experience. How much time do I have left? What? 30 seconds? Well, that's enough time for some facts. Dutch people are the best non-native English speakers in the world. Holland is also one of the happiest and safest countries and our educational institutions rank among the world's top 2%. But there's more to Holland. Holland is creative, high-tech, diverse, innovative, nicely located, exciting, has a unique cuisine and a rich history. We've got a unique culture and very welcoming people. Just barely made it. So now you know why you should study in Holland. Okay, that was the video again. And for those who didn't notice, Holland is the same as the Netherlands. So uh, when we talk about Holland, Holland or the Dutch, we talk about uh, 
people from the Netherlands. Uh, when I continue with my presentation, there uh, are a few reasons here again why you should study here. Uh, the quality of education is already mentioned a few times and what is nice for you to know that today the three universities of applied sciences here present are among the top rated uh, universities. Uh, so you're in good company. Uh, the open-mindedness uh, of the Dutch people is important, especially for international students. Uh, you will experience, once you're here, you will feel very welcome by the Dutch people. The free freedom of expression is an important one also for our education systems. In the Netherlands, you don't have, you don't have professors or teachers telling you what you should know, but they challenge you to think, to debate, uh, they challenge you to discuss and to think yourselves about uh, your opinion, uh, to, to pose a lot of questions and discuss the things uh, that the teachers tell you is, is an important part of our uh, study culture. Um, that is also, uh, uh, you can see that in our teacher style, which is very interactive, the teacher is not the one who tells you what you should know, but is a facilitator and is your guide. And students do a lot of group work. They work in groups on assignments, on assignments. So they already prepare for how it is to work in real life in a company. Uh, the Dutch are famous for their problem-based learning. So it's not uh, learning from a theoretical basis, but uh, starting with a problem and then solve the problem based on theoretical background and on uh, practical insights. Uh, we are also a front runner in preparing students for the international labor market. And the reason for that is that the Dutch have a culture of international trade. There are a lot of international companies here and Dutch companies do a lot of trade and work together with a lot of international uh, organizations, which is also reflected in our study program. Well, it's easy to connect to the Dutch already said, and uh, nice to know the Dutch are one of the happiest and uh, it's one of the safest countries in the world. About higher education in the Netherlands. It's good to know that in the Netherlands we have two types of uh, universities. We have 17 research universities and we have 37 universities of applied sciences. The research universities are focused on academic education and research and uh, on scientific publication that goes with the scientific research. So they have a more theoretical approach. Uh, that's completely different in universities of applied sciences. That is more uh, focused on higher professional education and applied research. And in universities of applied sciences, we have internships. So you work together with a company during one semester. We do a lot of projects and we work closely together with businesses. So uh, here you learn by doing. That is a big difference with research universities. Research universities who have a bachelor of three years and in general universities of applied sciences have a bachelor of four years, but then you're already finished. Uh, most of the students don't do a master's afterwards. They just start working immediately after they graduated. There are also uh, differences in admission requirements that are general differences, uh, research universities uh, uh, when you uh, apply there, then your grades can be important, especially for selective programs, uh, for universities of applied sciences. In general, your high school diploma is sufficient. Uh, and once you have your diploma, you will always be accepted. But there are some exceptions uh, for uh, special programs, small scale programs, or in case you need uh, spe specific talents, if you do an arts program, for example. And uh, well, if you still doubt whether you should go to a research university or a university of applied sciences, in general, we can say research, are, uh, research universities are for thinkers, while universities of applied sciences are for doers, because there's more practice in the program. When you belong to the smartest of the class, think about a research university. When your grades are only uh, modest, 
maybe a university of applied sciences is better for you but of course everyone who is a doer can apply there uh, and of course there are differences if you want to study medicine you have to go to research university if you want to become a nurse or if you want to study hotel management then you should go to university of applied sciences so all together we are here this afternoon with three universities of applied sciences the unique features of us is that our study materials are based on real life cases uh, we work on hands-on competences and skills for you so there's a lot of practice we have small classes we do a lot of group work practical assignments and we have a lot of guest lectures by field professionals um, internships are part of all the programs, including also a semester studying abroad. And in general, I can say that the career opportunities for our graduated students are excellent. Well, this was a more general presentation about studying in the Netherlands. Thank you for your attention. And if you have questions, we can answer them later on. In the morning I cycle to school, no matter it's good weather or bad weather, it's good to cycle in the morning just to freshen up. Of course the Netherlands is a very cultural diverse country and um, I've expected that um, coming here it's very easy for me to just reach out to people in English and also uh, get to know the culture very easily. I study environmental science, sustainable energy and technology. I choose to study in advance because the study that I take, environmental science, is an international study. This is the only school that offers environmental science in English over the Netherlands. And well, I've expected to uh, experience a very cultural, diverse studying environment, but at the same time reaching out to know more about the Dutch culture. Usually we are divided into groups because every terms that we have, we have a project and probably the class will be divided into four different project groups. So we spend most of the time doing project, but at the same time we have different other courses to study different subjects about environmental science. The student life here is very, very fun and it's very colorful I have to say, well, colorful in the way that there are a lot of different kind of student activities. In summer we always go to uh, the park in the city centre and then just chill and hang out there. I'm living in a student house with three other students. We have different studies but we are always hanging out together and we usually just spend our weekends together. Sometimes when the weather is good we suntan or we have barbecues but most of the time we would spend the evening watching some movies. I recommend Alphonse because Alphonse is a very cultural diverse university well as it provides a lot of different international programs but at the same time, the study environments and uh, study quality here is very good. Yeah, that's why I choose to come to the Netherlands. Everyone, welcome uh, one more time. And um, my name is Shen. I'm representing Advanced University of Applied Sciences uh, in the Netherlands. I'm working as an international marketing advisor. I'm very happy today to meet you all virtually to give this a short presentation about uh, Advanced. Um, as you can already see from this short video, that we have a very vibrant and uh, diverse international student population, but that's more or less in general uh, applying to all Dutch institutions. So we're very international oriented. Um, what is most important here to mention is that we um, offer top class education that says about not only advanced but all the uh, three University of Applied Sciences that are representing here and all the public university and some private university in the Netherlands as well listed in the NUFIX ranking. Um, also, the Dutch are very innovative and creative. Um, I, I believe you all know some Dutch 
band, uh, brands already, more or less, uh, such as Heineken, Philips, um, the Port of Rotterdam, ING Bank, and KLM. Um, some students might ask the question, uh, the Dutch people speak Dutch, um, I only speak English, will I be able to survive in the Netherlands without speaking or managing any skill in Dutch? Absolutely, um, because most of the Dutch people do speak English uh, and quite fluently. And all the programs we are uh, actually talking about today here are all in international programs. Um, and there is uh, actually a brochure that you can download about Avance with all the programs we offer in English and all the practicalities as well. Um, some of you might wonder if you are a good fit for University of Applied Sciences. I just saw the polls results as well, that some of you know that you're more thinker, some are more a doer, and the question, the poll question here definitely triggers some of you to think. Um, this is more applicable for international uh, I, yeah, IB students, but you can you can associate yourself with who is more likely enjoying creativity, actions, service, uh, rather than theories or knowledge, then you are more a doer, then you are more type of students suitable for University of Applied Sciences. And apart from that, um, Applied Sciences University are also very suitable for individuals with a hands-on mentality, who like to learn by doing, who are explorers and both very ambitious and pioneering, and, and the students who are enthused uh, to solve problems to solve real life practical uh, matters. And during the study, gain some practical uh, experiences as well. So Alphonse, where we are located, uh, you can see this map of the Netherlands. We're located in the south part of the Netherlands in the province called North Brabant. Um, among the four city campuses, Breda and Schartelmoenbosch are the ones we offer international programs. So the international campuses are in these two cities. Uh, oh yeah, before I forget, I need to mention where this Breda and Schartelmoenbosch are actually meaning for you. We are, uh, one more time, going back to the slides. It's um, you probably think, okay, so, but what does it mean for me? Uh, Breda or Schartelmoenbosch is actually one hour train ride to the capital city of Amsterdam in the Netherlands. And we are also very close to the Belgian border. So with a speed train, it takes us also one hour to go to Brussels from Breda. So it's a small country and for um, travelers or students who are willing, are interested in travel, this is actually quite good location. And some facts and figures about um, Avance. So as I already mentioned that uh, there are four city campuses uh, we are located in and international degree programs. We have seven, five bachelor degree programs who might, which might be more um, relevant for you all and two master programs in the fields of art and graphic designs. And there are 31,000 students uh, at campus, among which um, about a little less than 1,000 international students, so which make it very uh, nice to have international students community and this international students also very easily reach out to one another and mingle with the Dutch ones. So some more facts and figures about Avance. We are um, very proud to be ranked the best large universal flying sciences in the past eight consecutive years. Um, this kind of ranking is very different from the world rank, well-known ranking like the QR and the, um, the, the other rankings that you probably are more aware of with publications. Uh, which are based on the research results and publications. But our ranking is more national wide for University of Applied Sciences because we are not really, apart from applied sciences, not really in the scientific um, uh, perspective in terms of education. Uh, our ranking is more based on the assessments from the ranking committee. So they look into the hardware, software of the, and the teaching supporting staff of um, the course design, things related to that, and also feedback of the current students, whether they are satisfied with their uh, study experience, evaluations from the alumni, and the employers uh, and graduates are uh, very important to us with their opinion towards our education quality. 
So why should you choose Avance as a study destination? Um, we are very international focused and practical practice based education we offer and we are very keen on personal approach. Um, speaking of inter international focus, it's not only about the fact that the program are offered in English, but also we have a very strong international community of students and lecturers. It's a good diversity and students are offered international experience and work, uh, work experience. Projects are related to international uh, organizations and uh, international cases. You will have not only uh, study experience, but also study trips um, in other countries during your study. And we also, um, a lot of the times, the programs or the courses are designed with focus or attention given to the intercultural communication and uh, uh, intercultural uh, management. And practice-based education, um, what does it mean? I think Arna actually in the brief uh, general introduction already mentioned that's also the focus of all University of Fine Sciences. So we are more keen on um, bringing students into experience of education in a more interactive way. You learn uh, through teamworks, solve real case scenarios and problems um, from companies and your uh, lectures or your um, mentors from school can also be the ones who actually work in a company in the management level. And during your uh, four-year study at the University of Applied Sciences, you have actually uh, half a year internship plus half a year graduation assignments, uh, which make it um, a one year total of working experience. Um, another point um, why you should choose Avance is because we are uh, very focused on personal approach. Our students uh, refer, uh, refer us to be uh, refer our teachers to be very easily uh, reachable and very helpful. And also, um, the students knowing students not only by the student number but actually knowing the, the first name base. Uh, so a lot of personal contacts and support and social integrations are uh, embedded in the four-year study. And here are two slides to show you how our campuses are look alike and the facilities we offer to students, especially the libraries, um, or you, you can call that library or study center workspace is created with design for students who work in smaller groups or individually. Um, and we offer five different bachelor programs. Um, and here they are. You actually also read uh, from the brochure you can download. You can find a lot more detailed information about this program uh, yourself. Uh, it is worth to mention that the international business uh, offered by both location in Breda and Stratton Bos are not the same program. It's actually very different focus. But in the brochure, you can see a lot more detail in this regard. And I only have uh, a few more seconds to go through my slides, so I'm going to be very quickly go through the practical um, information. Um, this applies to almost all uh, Dutch institutions from University of Applied Sciences. So once you decided to apply, you register the central uh, online registration center called StudyLink, and then you submit required extra required documents via email. Everything is digital. After that, you will have a mandatory online intake assessments and interview with the lecturers or staff members from the faculty. In this way, you get to know um, uh, him or her better about the also through them about the program and they will know you better as a, as a student to see if you fit um, this type of education or not and then there will be some uh, practical preparation for housing insurance and welcome introduction and once you are here we're going to help you out with uh, all the practical matters such as bank accounts registration at the city hall uh, here is a slide about admission, what kind of students we can accept is the IB students, IB students with a career related certificate, American high school diploma, national diplomas from different countries, AS levels, and diploma of a secondary education in a country states in the list. In the slides, uh, later on you can download it and the link you can access to see um, the countries listed in this uh, document. 
And if you have your uh, high school education completely taught in English or that's your mother tongue, you don't have to submit any proof of your English proficiency test. And this is the application deadline um, for non-EU students. It's no later than June 1st, and we extend it to June 15th. And the, for the EU students, it's no later than August 1st. And we also extend it to this year because of the ongoing corona crisis for um, mid-August. Um, here's some information about the application and the corona crisis. We actually have a frequent ask question page developed for international perspective students. So if you're interested in look further into what Avance is taking action uh, on helping our international students to uh, arrive here and have a comfortable uh, way of studying, you can actually visit this website. And then it's about the fee and finance. Um, the tuition fee for EU citizen and non-EU citizen are mentioning here. And you have uh, some ideas about the cost of livings um, for living in the Netherlands or at least living in Breda or Schoenbos. And then for EU citizens, you have the you are entitled to uh, get a loan uh, from the government. And student finance, meaning uh, on top of the loan. You, if you can also be qualified for the student finance uh, if you work in the Netherlands for 56 hours per month. And once you graduate, um, this part can be uh, becoming a grant. And we have made e-magazines, so digital magazines for international prospective students and also international um, uh, yeah, e-magazines for the college counselors and to students from international schools. So in this magazines, you can find more information about the program, about what is more suitable in your case. And you can also get to our website and to approach one of our international student ambassadors who are more than willing to help you virtually. And check our YouTube uh, account because, because of the corona time, of course, we have a very limited open day on site available for everyone. But you can check out the atmosphere through our YouTube channel and get in touch with us. Don't hesitate in case you have any questions or inquiries regarding study with Avance. So you can ask your questions um, in the chat or later on, um, we have the Q&A sessions to answer all your questions collectively. So I'm now gonna give the floor to my colleague, Sam from the Hotel School in The Hague. How do I see my future? How do I see my future? I want to make the world a better place. I want to learn from it, give back, and contribute to something bigger than me. By following my dreams, I will grow, experience, and improve. I want to be proud of who I am and be respected for my compassion, my skills, my knowledge, and my strengths. This way, I can motivate and inspire others. When I push myself to reach my own limits, I know I will grow beyond my wildest imagination. I want to feel part of something, something bigger, part of a network of like-minded people to share ideas and to learn from each other. I believe that you should be the change you want to see in the world. So how do I see my future? I know my future is bright.
of a wait there. My name is Samuel Waters and I'm uh, one of the international student recruiters for Hotel School The Hague. Uh, thank you for joining us today on this webinar for uh, SRT, organized by SRT, I should say. And today I'm going to be talking to you about the Netherlands Best Hospitality Business School and QS World Ranking number five in the world. So let's talk about our uh, degree. Hotel School The Hague is the oldest hospitality business school in the Netherlands, established in 1929. If you're good at math, that means you've already calculated that we are 91 years old. We're in the two main cities of the Netherlands, of the capital, the Amsterdam, and the business capital or the diplomatic capital, the Hague, to so the two main cities within the Netherlands. That is where we are located. We also have a fantastic Scotel living experience, which I'll touch upon a little bit later. To talk a little bit about our history, you can see there in the black and white picture in the left hand corner uh, is our first stream back in the day. Unfortunately, we only had men. Back in 1929, we're happy to say we are now 50% male and female. Uh, but then we were started by the industry for the industry of hospitality business management. Back then, we have, as I said, started by the hospitality industry, but have now developed into a world leading business school. World leading because we have been ranked number one in the Netherlands for the last seven consecutive years, and we're top five world ranking by QS. Uh, world rankings, as I said earlier, as well as uh, many other different rankings has put us in the top five hospitality business schools in the world. Today, I'll be mostly focusing on our Bachelor of Arts in Hospitality Business Management, uh, but we also do offer a world leading MBA program, uh, which is also about hospitality business management. So what are our main characteristics? Well, we are a hospitality business school, so everything you learn will be focused within the world of hospitality. However, this does not mean that you are confined to that world of dealing with hotels and restaurants. In the end of the day, what we teach you is business fundamentals within a customer-centric hospitality focus. That means that you're not just understanding how businesses operate, but you're understanding how to deal with customers, how to talk to people, how to give presentations, and how to be a hospitable leader. We're also one of the most international schools in the, in the Netherlands, uh, with over 75 nationalities and counting. You will study amongst people from all around the world, from Tahiti to Hawaii, South Africa, uh, all of the European Union nations represented, as well as the US, Asia, and Africa, and more. We're a small scale university, meaning that we, you know, we're very highly ranked, as I've said, and that means that we could invite thousands upon thousands of people to join us within our program. However, we want to keep it small. We believe that knowing you as a person rather than a student number is very important. And the lecturers will know you by your name. That's why we keep the classes to around 25 students per, per, uh, per class in order to maximize your learning opportunities within the classroom. So let's touch upon that hospitality business school idea. Well, understanding business is very important and understanding the theories and Academics behind business is essential. That's why 80% of what you study will be academic learning, doing exams, working in teams, uh, submitting reports, and more. You know, meeting those uh, international business requirements that are needed within the business world. But we believe learning through books is not everything for you to do. And it's really important, actually, that you gain some practical education within your business understanding. That's why we will throw you in the deep end and send you on two international internships into most of the countries around the world that you can choose from, uh, and combining training management skills with this real life experience. I'll touch a little bit upon this training management skills a little later. So let's talk about some of the main programs within the bachelor program. So the academic courses that you will follow consist of marketing, finance, HR, strategic development, specialization, such as the pre-masters. We did hear in the beginning there that masters are not usual. With a hotel school, the Hague, it is quite usual for you to continue your education within a master's program. And we do have pre-masters built into the program, meaning that you can go straight into some of the Netherlands best master's programs, such as Neerhoda, uh, Rotterdam Business School and more and more joining us uh, such as the University of Amsterdam. We also have entrepreneurship and real estate as a, as a uh, further development that you can go into as well as a focus on languages such as French, Spanish, Russian, German, Mandarin and of course Dutch if you're a non-native. That leadership development program is world leading. We are well renowned for our leadership development program and that's why some of the main companies of hospitality but also business uh, companies come and hire directly from us. We develop you not just to be 
someone that knows about theory, but really to develop yourself as a manager, as a leader for the real life world. We give you excellent preparation uh, to your career, and we give you the opportunity to start in either August or February, meaning that if you are an international student that's a bit concerned about the coronavirus currently, you can join us in our February stream. It's a four-year bachelor program, as I said, including two international internships and one year living on our campus, either in Amsterdam or The Hague. It's up to you. Courses that we study could be like revenue management, where you're going to look at how to maximize your revenue within a business operation, or for example, strategy development. How do you develop a strategy in order to keep that revenue high and keep you as a relevant business for the 21st century? We work with real life companies and actually we can send you around the world to work in a real life company in order to uh, develop a strategy for them. This is not part of the internships, but actually part of the academic programs that we follow. So let's talk about those internships because so many students love to go around the world and study and live in a different country. Well, the first internship is in the second year, and that has to be in a four to five star hotel, even if you are th someone thinking, I don't really want to stay in the hospitality industry. The reason we do that is to give you a great basis of understanding challenging situations and understanding how to work within a demanding environment, such as a hotel or restaurant. We only work with luxury properties uh, such as some of the ones you can see on the pictures here, like the Ritz-Carlton in Hong Kong, the Hilton in Bora Bora, the W in Barcelona, that's the Ritz-Carlton in London, the Hay Adams Hotel in Washington, D.C., Krabi, uh, Pokitra Golf and Spa Resort in Thailand, the Savoy in London and the Ritz in uh, the uh, capital of Austria, Vienna, just to name a few. We work with over 800 leading industry partners in order to give you some of the best learning opportunities and some of the highest ranked hotels around the world and this is a six month internship as i said in the country and hospitality choice for you the second internship is at the very end of your four year degree and that is a company related to hospitality and does not have to be within the hospitality sector as we as i said so companies such as klm kpmg cbre global investors nike heineken to name just a few you may be wondering how do you get into companies with a hospitality degree well these companies are for more and more focused on customer uh, reviews and customer-centric strategies. They want your, their customers to be happy and well looked after. And what do we do in hotels? We look after your customers and we look after our guests. And that's why companies such as KPMG, CBRE and more are hiring directly from us because we, not just, we don't just understand business operations, we understand how to talk to people, how to present to people, how to develop strategies with the customer at the core focus of what we do. We work in fields all around the world in different uh, industries. Top uh, jobs are still within operations management. So you can imagine becoming a general manager, a hotel manager, a front office manager, a food and beverage manager. Obviously not straight away, but within a few years of graduating. Actually one in three of our alumni are starting their own company. That's just to prove some of our great business skills that we teach you. You can do international sales, business development, human resources, just to name a few. As I said, these are the top five, but we work in hundreds of different industries in different uh, fields, as I said. We work all around the world as well. This is actually quite an outdated uh, uh, infographic here. We're waiting for our department to make a new one. This is from 2014. But you can imagine a lot more students working, for example, in Southern Africa, in Australia, in the Middle East in particular, in Asia and the US. This is just to name a few of the countries that we're working in. And as you can see, we really give you a passport to the world. So how much does it cost to study at such a world leading institute? Well, that's always a good question to have. Um, we are, uh, sorry, I've just noticed that uh, my audio is not great. I, I do hope that uh, you've been able to hear me okay. Um, well, the costs that, as you can see, uh, on the screen there. We are not hugely expensive. That is because we are a hospitality business school located in the Netherlands, and the Netherlands provides you with a, a pretty affordable education when it comes to higher education. Non-EU students there will be paying slightly more. That's due to us not, uh, you not being funded by the European Union. You have to remember of other uh, admission costs such as 600 euros for a tailor-made suit that we'll provide you, as well as 150 euros for a knife set. And furthermore, um, we have duo.nl where you can gain more, uh, more knowledge about our costs and help with uh, funding your education in the Netherlands. 
We do have a selection procedure. That's because we are a competitive school to get into. As one of the best hotel schools in the world, we do get a lot of applications uh, around the world. And that means that we do have a selection process. You'll have a lecture and a hospitality subject, a management assignment, as well as an interview and a pitch. This is during normal times. Now during these terrible corona times, we are doing it all online. Uh, so there has been a slight change to the admission, sorry, to the selection process as we know it. But we are con continuing to have that high standard within the program. Um, it's always important to have good levels of English, math, and a small knowledge test within the program as well. That's to ensure that we are inviting the top tier of students within to our university. So finally, as I am running out of time, sorry, we, we don't have much time to talk today. We do have a few uh, main topics to talk about uh, and to round up upon. We are the oldest hospitality business school in the Netherlands and the sixth top ranked hotel school in the world by QS World Rankings. We are international, we're huge. Uh, giving you a huge opportunity for a worldwide network with two international internships. Price quality ratio is really high, as well as campuses in the two main cities of the Netherlands being The Hague and Amsterdam. If you have other, any other questions, you know, follow us on all of those social media platforms that you have there, email study at hotelschool.nl, or you can actually get in contact with me directly by emailing f.waters at hotelschool.nl and I'm more than happy to answer your questions directly. Thank you so much for your time today. I'm sorry again if I had to speak very quickly. Uh, please do get in touch with me uh, if you want to hear some more information and I'm more than happy to help you with your application. Good luck everyone, no matter your choice, the Netherlands is the right place for you. Thank you so much and I pass on to our wonderful next speaker, Erna Balk from Windersheim. Thank you. Thank you, Sam, for introducing me. Here I am again, and now I'm talking uh, only about Windows Hand. First, see the video. It was my dream to study abroad. I was very enthusiastic about the programs they uh, provide here at Windesheim, especially the internships that are included in the programs. I think Windesheim are focusing on projects instead of making exams. I think this way is more creative. I really like the way the lecturers teach here at Windesheim. They're very connected to you as a student and they know you by name. It feels like it's a very personal relationship. It's professional education that we offer. So we basically start with a project, uh, a client from day one. The students of Windesheim are very competent to work in a complex environment. Life in Netherlands Netherlands is easy. People are friendly, most of them speak English, so if you struggle with the language, that's not a problem. And here in Zwolle, everything is just a 10 minutes ride by bicycle away. I'm very surprised and I really like the atmosphere in this country. So as an Erasmus student, of course, during the weekend, we have lots of parties all the time and sometimes it's hard to find the balance between studying and partying, but most of the time it works well. The philosophy of Windesheim is that every individual talent is unique. We invest a lot in the innovation of education and in personal contact between the teacher and the student. Being an exchange student is a uh, truly enriching experience, I think, and will help you to develop a, an independent and global mindset. Winnesheim in one word, inviting. Modernity and quality. Being creative. Open-minded. Welcome to Windesheim. Windesheim is, a, media, uh, is a, um, a university of applied sciences based in the city of Zwolle. Zwolle is a, a medium-sized uh, city with a historic city center, beautiful city center. And Zwolle is uh, based in a very strong economic region with many international operating companies. Uh, what we have in the city is lots of cultural activities, festivals, theaters, bar, restaurants, and a lot of sports events. Uh, and what is also nice to know is that it's a safe city, only one hour traveling from Amsterdam. As you can see on this map, it is a little bit north from the center of the Netherlands, one hour by train, by car from Amsterdam, and it's easy traveling to other cities. 
uh, like the student city of uh, Groningen, uh, Utrecht, The Hague, it's, it's all close by and well connected. Uh, this is a part of our campus. On the left-hand side, you see the building where we have our uh, business programs and where uh, the bachelor, the international bachelor students will do their program. Besides uh, international bachelor programs, we also have uh, almost 30 exchange programs where also exchange students from all over the world will be, will be during one semester. Some facts and figures about our university. We have approximately 24,000 students. Most of them uh, are uh, based in uh, Zwolle. We have another city where we also have a few thousand students, but most of them are on the big campus in Zwolle. Uh, we have about 300 partners uh, in 50 countries all over the world, which is important for you as a bachelor student because that offers you the opportunity to study at all those partners, so all over the world during uh, one or maybe even two semesters during your study program. The quality of our education is high. Uh, today you are lucky you're uh, with uh, all top rated universities of applied sciences. We are the number two, Avance is number one. We are in the same category and uh, the Hotel School The Hague is in another category because they're specialized and a little bit smaller, but we are proud to be the number two or for already many years in a row. And I will tell you more about our two English taught bachelor programs we offer for you. The first program we offer is international business. This is a broad business program. Uh, you will follow classes in finance, in logistics, in marketing, and we're especially very good in internet marketing and human resources management. That are the main topics of this program. Um, what is important here is that we do a lot of projects. We already start from day one in year one with a group of students who work on a project. And that is a question or a problem uh, of a real life company. With a group of students, you will work on that. You will come up with a solution. Uh, you will learn some theory around it. There is a lecturer which will help you to find the right solutions and to think in the right directions. And after a few weeks, the project is finished and you start with another project. So during the four years of our bachelor program, you will do 10 projects. So that's a lot of practical experience that you gain in those four years. Besides the projects, which you do for real life companies and also present to those companies, you will do an internship. You will do an internship in year two, which means that you will go to a company that can uh, be either in the Netherlands. We have a lot of contacts here in the Zwolle area, but you can also do an internship with a company abroad. It can be everywhere, but we only don't want you to go back to your home country because we want you to gain as much international experience as possible. Then you are going to study abroad in year three. You can choose uh, among uh, one of our partner universities. Uh, we have them all over the world and you can also choose a topic of your interest. For example, if you would like to specialize in marketing, you go to a university where they have a special marketing program. If you uh, are more interested in international relations, please do so and go to a university where they offer you that topic. So that is the study abroad. And in year four, you do your final thesis again with a company. So after four years, you've gained a lot of practical experience and also a lot of international experience. What is important for us and for our university is that you are able to choose your own learning pathway. There are classes that you have to follow that are the four topics on the top of this uh, slide, but you can choose uh, your own direction. And if you want to specialize in human resources management or in supply chain management, you're absolutely able to do that. Um, there are several universities of applied sciences offering the international business program and what is typical for us is that we have a very close collaboration with businesses in our region so all the projects we do with uh, companies the internships a lot of our students go there uh, for their internship and we have a lot of guest lectures 
from people from those companies uh, offering lectures at our university. What is also typical wind design is that for international students, uh, uh, Dutch language classes are mandatory. Um, you may question something about that, but the reason is that, um, well, we know from experience that after graduation, a lot of the international students want to stay a few more years in the Netherlands and want to work with a Dutch company. And when you, as an international student, start with a Dutch company, it is nice that you also speak and can read about the language. Uh, we already told you that almost everyone in the Netherlands speaks English, but when you work in a Dutch environment for a Dutch company, it is nice that you at least understand the basics of the language. And that's why we want you to learn that language. Uh, also typical wind design is the interactive student-centered teaching style, which means that we have very small classes. Our international business classes are only 15, so one five students, so that's really very small. Uh, the students work in small groups, very often four, five students in a group is the usual uh, size of the group that you work in. Every few weeks, another group. So that also learns you to work with different people, different cultures. Our teachers are very approachable, which is uh, a larger consequence of the very small classes. The teachers are uh, more facilitator and guides than that they are really teaching you things. They guide you, they tell you where you can find uh, your information. And student counseling is very important in our program. So every now and then you talk with your counselor to talk about the progress in your study, uh, your wishes, uh, what you want to learn, your problems, and that's how we help you uh, during your study career at Windesheim. After uh, graduation, there are a lot of opportunities for you. Uh, in businesses, uh, you can see a whole overview. Um, typical is that uh, our students are going to work for a broad variety of companies, smaller, bigger, either in the Netherlands or abroad, or also for um, um, uh, governments or uh, bigger organizations international. Um, then what is also important uh, for you as an international student is our entry requirements. What we ask from you is your high school diploma. Uh, we don't really care about your grades. Of course, it's important to have your diploma, but what, uh, what we think is important is your motivation. When you are motivated, uh, we think you will be, su be successful here. On the other hand, uh, your grades uh, are not that important uh, because we want to offer everyone the opportunity to study at our university. Um, English language proficiency is also important, of course. Here you see the requirements. But if you have an international baccalaureate or a European baccalaureate, or if you are from uh, for example, the UK or Ireland, uh, then it's not necessary to, uh, uh, to meet these uh, requirements. And there are also certain other European diplomas that are exempt of this English language proficiency test. You can find them all on our website. Important is also the application deadline for this program. It is uh, 1 June for international students, uh, from non-EU countries, and it is 15 June for European students. Then I will tell you a bit more about our other program, Global Project and Change Management. This is also a business program, but it's focused on sustainability. This is for students that want to make the world uh, a, a better place to live, that want to make a positive change in the world. So if you are interested in climate change, in improving global health, in um, uh, gender inequality, if you uh, care about pollution, if you want to eradicate hunger, that kind of topics, then this program should be very interesting for you. It is an honors program. Uh, which means that the level of education is a little bit higher and you have to work a little bit harder. And here, uh, because it's a small scale program, classes are maximum 20 students. 
we have a selection uh, procedure and that selection is based on motivation. So again, your grades are not that important. Um, uh, here you see the topic of these programs and you see that the topics are the 17 topics of the sustainable development goals of the United Nations. So clean water, clean energy, zero hunger. If this is of your interest, think about this unique study program. It's the only study program like this in the Netherlands at the University of Applied Sciences. Well, what can you do when you are graduated? There are a few options. Some of our students work for NGO, NGOs, non-governmental organizations like the Red Cross or UNICEF. Others are working uh, for businesses, regular businesses, and they are there to make that business more sustainable. Uh, another group of students is working for a government or a political institution. So, for example, one of our students is working for the European Commission in Brussels as a policy advisor. And there are more of that kind of examples. And others start their own company in reducing food waste, for example, or in uh, slavery clothing. Um, uh, some of their students also uh, continue uh, with a master's program. We don't have master's program ourselves, but you can go to all kinds of universities, both in the Netherlands and abroad. Um, entry requirements. Also here, we need your high school diploma and we also need a pass for mathematics. Uh, your English language proficiency is also uh, needed by a test or if you have um, uh, your international baccalaureate, European baccalaureate, if you originate from an uh, English speaking country, or, well, there are some other uh, countries' diplomas that don't need this um, English proficiency test. In addition, for example, when you're from Germany or uh, Romania, then we know, don't need this extra test. For this program, we also need a motivation letter and two recommendation letters from teachers or maybe you had a part time job and your manager can can uh, send us uh, a motivation letter and we do a selection interview. The application deadline for this program is 1 June. Uh, that is because of the selection procedure. If you apply later, that is possible, but then we will put you on a waiting list. Um, what is also for you interesting as a student uh, is, of course, the facilities on our campus. I already told you that we have approximately 20,000 students studying in Zwolle at our campus. So we have a lot of billets, buildings, and uh, uh, but that doesn't mean that, that you feel lost in that big campus because we have a lot of space for private study and for group work in smaller rooms or study tables, so there is a lot of space for you and your teammates to work together. Uh, what is also nice is that we have a big copy and campus shop where you can uh, buy everything you need from, um, uh, well, nice things, uh, but also paperwork, uh, pens, postcards are very popular there. And of course, you can copy documents there at a reasonable price. What is important is the bike repair shop, especially when you live in the Netherlands, you have to bike. And our sports facilities, we have a huge amount of sports facilities from gyms, a heated swimming pool and a climbing wall. So that's about our facilities. Um, here with, I would like to end my presentation. If you want to know more about housing, finance, how to apply, you can find everything. Uh, on our website and uh, we welcome you to join us at our campus in Zwolle. Thank you for your attention. And I think now I hand over to one of our moderators. I'm actually taking over for answering some of the questions addressed by the students. Um, mostly, uh, most frequent asked question is if I have English as the first language in my IB diploma, do I need to have an English proficiency exam such as TOEFL when applying to a program? The answer is no. If you did your high school um, 
uh, obtain an IB diploma, which means that you have been following your high school or pre-education completely in English. In this case, you're exempt um, to give or pro to provide a proof of English proficiency test. Um, sorry, I didn't quite hear that you broke up for me. Could you just repeat the question for me? I see here, Sam, the question for you. <laughs> oh, yes, sorry. I, I see it there, Shen. I was a bit confused. No, I... I thought you asked me a question. <laughs> no, no. Um, yes. Yeah. I got a question uh, regarding the effects of COVID-19. Obviously, COVID-19 has had huge impacts onto all universities across the world, and uh, specifically, uh, obviously, within the hospitality industry, uh, has had even bigger impacts. Um, uh, as an industry, you know, we are very resilient, and as a university, we've we've also um, uh, survived many big impacts like this before we since we've been survived since 1929 you know we've got one world war in there we've got uh i'm sure a few other viruses and a few other major events that have impacted universities hotel school the hague will not be you know majorly uh impacted by covid in the long run in the short run it's definitely had some changes in our curriculum so currently obviously our campuses are closed um that means that we can't have uh, students within our practical education um, and for the placements especially they are looking uh, difficult to, for students to attend at the moment for our internships and I think that would equate to all three of us here uh, that the internships have been impacted by by the COVID uh, response. What we are having is that uh, our placement office who works with over 800 industry partners as I said um, have adapted and they've created this thing called the projects. The projects uh, online based um, um, kind of projects that the students work as either individually or as a team um, and they are real world companies that have approached hotel school we've been inundated with companies co uh, coming to hotel school saying hey look we have this kind of issue we have this kind of problem we want your students to solve it um, so in the in the short term this is our main solution for the internships in the long term hopefully back in August uh, back to August we will be uh, sending students on their regular internships again, depending on the situation. Um, but fingers crossed, we will not hear this horrible word coronavirus anymore because I'm sure myself and my colleagues are fed up with it, as well as all of you locked at home, hopefully staying safe. I hope that's answered uh, your question. And maybe I can add in addition that because we have business program, the, there was not a huge impact on our students. Most of the, the internship uh, could continue and classes were uh, online it's it cost us a few days to change uh, the study program to make a little bit different assignments so there is hardly any delay with our programs but of course that's easier when you offer business program instead of hotel management where you also have your practical things uh, maybe i yeah, I mean, in terms of the program, it wasn't impacted. So the actual teaching has all moved online. Yes. We did that as well within within two days. And all of our lectures and everything have continued. Just the practical aspect. So working on our campus and working on an internship within, you know, Asia or around the world, that's the part that's been impacted. But students are still learning just through the virtual medium instead. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I can continue with the next question. Uh, the question is, are there any scholarships or grants available for your European citizens? For Windesheim, I can tell you, we do not offer any scholarships as a University of Applied Sciences, but there are options for scholarships and you can find them on the Study in Holland website. So when you go to Study in Holland and you search for scholarships, you can find uh, options. We don't offer them ourselves. Uh, similar to Winnetan, Avanza doesn't offer scholarship either, but um, we do offer the uh, orange uh, Tilip scholarships for Brazilian and for Mexico, uh, Mexican students um, for the environmental sciences program for sustainable energy and technology. Um, and indeed, check the scholarship finder through the website Arna, Arna, Arna just actually mentioned. There would be um, 
listing of scholarship opportunities offered by the Dutch or your home country government as well. Yeah, scholarships are the same for Hotel School The Hague. We don't offer EU student scholarships. That's because uh, we believe that's already offering quite a uh, affordable education in comparison to our partners across the ocean, that's for sure. Um, and so we don't offer EU student scholarships at this moment, but we do also work with the Orange Tulip Scholarship for Vietnamese uh, and South African students. Um, so it just depends on where you're from at the moment and, and what kind of financial assistance you can get. Okay, shall I continue with the next question that is about housing. Do we offer housing for first year students? For Windesheim, I can say that uh, our program Global Project and Change Management for those students, we offer guaranteed housing for the International Business Program. We have um, a small number of rooms available and that works on the first come first served. Uh, basis so we have so yes we have rooms available for us uh, the both international campuses in Breda and Scherdam was offering um, uh, not guaranteed but housing support to students for international students for all the international programs but it's on the first come first uh, first serve basis for us all of our students must live on campus for the first year it's a compulsory part of the education we call it the SCOTEL uh, and they live either in the city of Amsterdam or the city of The Hague on our campus facilities. After the first year, we uh, send them on internship and then they must find their own accommodation when they come back. We do assist in that, but we do believe it's important to also get that uh, adult life experience of living in your own apartment. Okay, next question is about estimated cost of living, such as food, accommodations, etc. I think Shen had a good overview in her presentation of Avance. Uh, I think the same uh, is for our University of Applied Sciences. Amsterdam might be a bit more expensive, especially the room can be a bit more expensive. But in general, uh, what I say to students that is uh, when you're a European student, uh, so you have to pay the European tuition fee, uh, which is a little bit over 2,000 euros. All costs of studying in the Netherlands together uh, are between 7,000 and 12,000 euros per year approximately 10,000 euros per year in general with our tuition fee. And I think more or less the same uh, is for Avance uh, and for the hotel school, the tuition fee is a bit different. So there are different yeah. ways. For the living cost, um, the estimation is about for students accommodation. If you have a, a student room in a shared dormitory, that's of course very different than you are renting a studio yourself. But it's uh, within the range of 350 euro to 600 euro per month. And for grocery shoppings, for a living cost is more or less about um, 250 euro. But it's also highly depends on your living style. Yes, and uh, yeah, in, in Amsterdam, it's obviously a bit more expensive uh, than The Hague. Um, so living costs in Amsterdam, we always say uh, to predict around you know, 400 to 800 euros uh, for the house, that is. Um, you can find cheaper if you go further out of the main city or if you want to live in the center, it will be a bit more. Um, so yeah, it, it is really depending on your lifestyle, as the other two have already mentioned. And, uh, but yes, do take into account they are the sort of capital cities of the Netherlands, so therefore prices are always a bit more. Okay, next question is, uh, is it possible to found, find a job and can the university help there? Um, yes, for international students, it's possible to find a job. It's easier for European students to do that because they don't need a work permit. What I always tell is that when you start to study in the Netherlands, please don't start with a job during at least the first semester. You need some time to accommodate, to get used to the country, the culture, and please do not start with a job besides your study in the first semester or maybe even the first year. After that, yes, it's possible. We as a university, we don't help you, but you will be in a class with Dutch uh, students and for them it's very easy to help you. Uh, lots of them are working in restaurants for example or well there are all kind of options in, in our area but do not start the first semester. Yes I think that is the same for hotel school. We, we 
always encourage students to actually gain practical experience outside of their education as well. And it is very common for us to be working uh, part time. Uh, it is similar, not within the first year, though. The first year is very highly intensive and you can expect high contact hours of being in school around nine to five. Uh, so we do expect you to, you know, give your full academic uh, focus onto the program rather than working on the side. But when you do come back from your second, uh, first internship, it is very common. Most students will get a job on the side uh, in order to fund their um, studies as well. I'm going to first give the floor to Marina before, yeah, she's going to say goodbye quickly before I'm going to answer this question on behalf of Amos. Yes, uh, thank you. I would like to one more time say thank you for inviting us, uh, our office, our NASA office, and thank you everyone for participating in this webinar. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to write uh, to us, and uh, I will send you right now the link uh, with the different uh, NASA offices around the world. So probably if uh, some specific office will be closer to your country, you may also refer there and um, write down for them and they will definitely help you in it. So thank you one more time and uh, good luck with the questions and uh, feel free to answer. Uh, you have the amazing chance right now. Thank you. Bye, thank you. Bye. All right, get back to the question for my end. Uh, whether we offer part-time job or help students to find part-time job. Uh, at Avos, just like Sam uh, mentioned that we also encourage students to focus on your education first, especially once you move um, such a big step, there's a lot to adapt uh, academically and socially. So we always encourage students the first half year, don't think too much about to work on a part-time job. Once you adapt yourself further, better in the country and making friends, uh, then you can start thinking about it. And like I said already, that we have a big international community. So our students always help each other to uh, find or get tips for uh, part-time jobs. Also, same applies for housing. Um, we have different social media um, channels. So students actually engage one another to look for um, or actually um, post opportunities for housing and for part-time job opportunities. Okay, we have a huge list of questions, so let's try to run a little bit through it. Uh, here is a question. Uh, they say if you want to obtain practical skills, you should go for universities of applied sciences, not to the research universities. Which one give you better chance to land a job? Uh, well, um, it's, it's correct. If you want to gain practical skills, you are very well placed at universities of applied sciences. Which one offers you a better job? That's sometimes difficult. It depends also on the program. For example, for arts programs, if you follow an art program, it is more difficult to find a job than, for example, when you do a business program. Um, uh, but in general, I can say that uni when you have a diploma of a University of Applied Sciences, you're well prepared for the labor markets and businesses are really waiting for uh, those graduated students. I don't know if any one of you want to add something to that. Yeah, I think in, in, indeed the University of Applied Science is actually a better place to prepare students to get ready for the career uh, opportunities, especially during the four year uh, study experience, you gain one year work experience already. And if you look at the statistics, many of us have the same or similar results that some students, quite some of uh, our students before they graduate, they already got the job offer. Um, but of course, it also depends on the industry. Um, for instance, uh, the high tech industry, um, like electric engineering, this type of education, either from a research university or a university of applied sciences are very um, hot topic, basically. And in the Netherlands, there are so many job offers in this field. Yeah. It's, it's it's um, important to get practical experience for, for lots of different industries and I think within business, uh, you know, business as a whole in order to learn about self-development and, and presentation skills, these kind of things, uh, it is fundamental in terms of your uh, personal growth within a career as well, not just to understand the academics, but to also understand how to, to give these um, personal aspects as well. Yeah. 
Here's another question. Uh, I've graduated from high school already a year ago. Will, how will that affect my enrollment? I would say not at all. Uh, what is important for us is your diploma. So that's not an issue. Um, well, which question? There are so many questions we have to choose. Um, Some of the questions are actually answered in the chat already. Um, for equivalence of the, the qualification, for instance, someone asked if the BTEC level three extended diploma is acceptable for um, a bachelor program at the University of Applied Sciences. It is. Um, it is equivalent to the Dutch level for uh, level four. So basically you are eligible to apply. And I see questions like, is, is it possible to study two different courses at the same time? For example, physics and literature. <laughs> That's a um, challenge. <laughs> interesting combo. <Yeah. laughs> um, not in our case. Um, our programs are actually quite intensive itself already. And, and also with two times half a year abroad for internship or graduation assignments and exchange to our partner schools or following a minor at the different universities, you don't have the chance to stay on campus the whole full year at all to follow two different programs. If you want to follow two programs like that, on a, if I may just uh, uh, say, not related to any of our three universities, uh, but within the Netherlands, we have a great system as well called uh, university colleges. Uh, university colleges allow you to combine these kind of subjects uh, should you wish to do physics or English literature, whichever the two were. You can do that within university colleges. So research that as an option for you as well. I see here another question. Can you give information about social psychology and clinic psychology? Well, the three of us don't offer those programs. I would recommend to go to the website studyinholland.nl where you can find all kinds of programs and there must be something like this. So please go there and you will find your information. Another question, what would be the requirements for Mexican students if we have no international baccalaureate? Um, and this is a very specific question. There may be other questions like these for other countries. Uh, I would say just contact the university where you want to go to ask for that because it's for the three of us, I think, too specific to answer. We have to go to yeah. our admissions office to, to go into the details. Um, and I believe we are running out of time if I look at the uh, the chats and but what we can always recommend is please look uh, look at our emails we you will be shared all of our details at the end of this presentation by SRT um, and if you need any further assistance you know they are great people to get in contact with and they will put you in touch with the right university representative um, and you can always call us as well uh, SRT will share our phone numbers uh, I speak for myself there, sorry, I, I hope not to, to give out the phone numbers of my colleagues that may not want to be contacted. Uh, but of course, always call us or email us and we'll be happy to answer your questions um, when this presentation is over. Absolutely. Here is SRT's voice. <laughs> hello, SRT's voice. Uh, hello, thank you so much for this great as if I'm about to be a student, which is never too late for. So I just wanted to say thank you once again to the three of you and to Marina for your precious time and advice. Unfortunately, there really were so many questions we could not answer live, but we certainly will over email. So tomorrow we will send to everyone who registered today a recording of the webinar so that you can go back to some of the details shared by our presenters. We did not have time to expand all the information, but we certainly will if you click that you want to receive more information. So check that poll once again. And we will share the email addresses of our three presenters, and then they will share their phone numbers if they please. So from our office of SRT, I'm saying goodbye, and I thank you once again for your time today, Shen, Erna, and Sam. And we hope to see you at some of our next webinars. To everyone from all over the world, big thank you. You've been a great audience asking all those questions. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye, bye bye. Bye. Bye bye.
want to study in Holland? Do you want to study in Holland? Of course you want to study in Holland. The next hundred seconds will definitely convince you. All right. Let's go. Study in Holland. Every year, many international students undergo the Dutch experience. But what does this mean? What makes studying in Holland so great? Holland is really internationally oriented. I mean, where else would you find students really internationally oriented? I mean, where else would you find students from over 160 different countries? One out of 10 students is an international student. Did you know that we have more than 2100 English talk programs? Pretty good, right? You know what's even better? The quality of our education. You won't find this quality of education at such an affordable rate anywhere else. The open-mindedness of the Dutch people is reflected in the way we educate. It's in the way we teach, the way we interact, in the way we work together. Once you're done studying here, Holland offers a ton of opportunities for entrepreneurs and job seekers. Holland is the home of some of the world's biggest multinationals such as Philips, Shell and many more. We even have a special one-year program for you to get employed called Orientation Year. You can be part of the Holland Alumni Network for everyone who had the Dutch experience. How much time do I have left? What? 30 seconds? Well, that's enough time for some facts. Dutch people are the best non-native English speakers in the world. Holland is also one of the happiest and safest countries and our educational institutions rank among the world's top 2%. But there's more to Holland. Holland is creative, high-tech, Diverse, innovative, nicely located, exciting, has a unique cuisine and a rich history. We've got a unique culture and very welcoming people. Just barely made it. So now you know why you should study in Holland. <laughs>